We've been looking at used RVs. Hi guys, well here we are again, B&D and Annalee Lee and Samantha Jane. Incidentally, it's Samantha's birthday, and she's out of control, because if I put this hat on that I usually wear sometimes, she goes crazy and wants to go on the patio. We went looking at used RVs, and I'm going to share that with you. This first one is a used uh, Georgetown by Forest River. This, uh, this Georgetown... <clears throat> I'm sort of partial to. I, I like Georgetown. I always have. Uh, they're a well-made coach, uh, right size, plenty of storage. Uh, they've been around for a long time. Years ago, I used to look at them. Uh, the interior of this thing is very nice. And uh, you can see here that it has two recliner chairs instead of a couch. Uh, you can change that out and put a couch in if you so desire. The uh, dining area is uh, large enough. It has a, a great kitchen in it. And, uh, of course, we're just starting to look here. Uh, very nice bedroom in the back. And uh, the bathroom is, uh, is all together. We really like that. Uh, very nice stove cover uh, in this thing. The shower, I kind of like having this type of shower curtain because it doesn't collect mold and if it needs to be replaced, that's easy to do. Uh, the commode uh, is uh, where you can use it and uh, as you can see it has stainless steel sink in the bathroom, cabinets uh, in the bathroom. It's just very nice and it's uh, something that uh, oh I don't know when you first start looking why you can't get too emotional about these things. Being full-timers uh, like we are you kinda know what to look for and so we're going to press on but the Georgetown is a nice coach and we enjoyed it very much. Now this one is an early 2000 uh, Southwind by Fleetwood. This uh, Fleetwood, as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, has a driver's side door. Uh, I'm partial to that. I, I, I like that in case you have a problem you can get out uh, very easily right out and gas it up or whatever it is you want to do. Uh, large coach but um, uh, it's just really not for us because it's uh, really about the same year as the coach we have now so if you're going to move up you might as well move up in years but uh, these Fleetwoods are made very nice and uh, it's a good buy for the money uh, you can take uh, as much time as you like looking for these things and that's what we intend to do uh, the money that you spend is uh, money that you had to earn and you might as well get the most that you can for it. This next one is a 2007 Holiday Rambler. This Holiday Rambler was gorgeous. Um, it's kind of at the upper end of the of the Class A's or the middle upper end of the Class A's. Very nicely put together. A lot of quality in the cabinets, a lot of quality in the in the countertops. You can see the furniture. Uh, lots of counter space, stove cover, sink cover, uh, table that lets down uh, as you can see uh, and it was just really clean. Uh, the only problem that we had with it or one of the problems that we had with it is covered in carpet and uh, we've learned by having Samantha and a dog prior to that that once dog hair gets wherever it's going to be it's really hard to clean and the floors are hard to clean. Uh, carpet, of course, gets dirty, and if you're full timing, why, uh, you know, you just have to constantly keep on stuff. You can see the shower here, uh, very nice. It's got a, a light above the <coughs> shower in the ceiling, excuse me. The commode is great. Uh, separate bathroom there, part of that. Uh, nice cabinets, lots of lighting, uh, excellent bedding, excellent uh, storage. Uh, quality sink, stainless steel, everything is is put together beautifully and uh, uh, it was just really nice. The only problem that there is secondly the problem that we had with it actually and let, before that let me tell you about the bed. See that window there? That's great. Uh, plenty of light but uh, this coach had uh, had just had too many miles on it for us. This one is a Class C Jayco Greyhawk. 
This Class C is a uh, really a beautiful coach. Um, this company does really good work putting these things together. Uh, you see on the inside the quality it has. It's a big Ford. It's got leather furniture, big V10 engine. A table makes down into a bed. Uh, up above uh, the uh, driver and passenger, you've got a television with a pull-out bed there. Below the television, uh, nice windows, nice refrigerator. Uh, the stove is covered, and uh, uh, all in all, it's it's just really a nice outfit. Uh, one of the things that uh, are is kind of slowing us down on a Class C this time is uh, my wife decided that uh, maybe we she would like to have. A little more room. You can see the bathroom and the shower is all quality stuff and um, it has a back bedroom um, but uh, being full-timers we've just about decided that we're going to spend the rest of our lives in an RV and in doing so if something happens to me I want her to have enough room that she can live comfortably in one wherever it is. Therefore uh, I think we're going to lead more towards the Class A than the Class C at this time. We're kind of leaning more towards used and new. Okay, guys, uh, that's going to be pretty much it. We hope you enjoyed this. We This is going to be a, a long process. This RV we buy is uh, undoubtedly going to be uh, the last one that we do buy. And as I told you before, we intend to spend the rest of our lives in an RV. So uh, we're going to keep looking. Uh, we'll bring you along with us each and every time. Uh, there's just so many out there to see. When you are shopping, I can tell you this. When you are shopping for an RV, find a reputable dealer. Uh, they have big markups in them, so be prepared to haggle a little bit. And each and every time we go out, we're going to take you with us.